Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to take exercise number 12 in Autodesk Inventor and here we will learn some basic 3D model and sketch tools. We will see how to use extrude cut and join command and we will see how to make rib with the help of rib command. I hope you like it. So let's start to make this simple model in Autodesk Inventor. Now we are going to start this exercise number 12 and uh, we will start from the bottom face you will see we will create this oblong face 130 millimeter long radius 40 millimeter and height is 100 millimeter we will create height up to full then we will cut it so let's do this first once you open autodesk inventory you will find this interface now let's click new and here if you choose metric you will see standard parts in millimeter click create now if you want to change units or background just go to tool document setting and unit unit you can change it from here millimeter second kilogram degree just change it and up, select apply and in the same way if you want to change background so just click application options color and from here you can change your background whatever background select and click apply that's it we will keep presentation a white background it's more useful now let's start so if you click start 2d sketch it will ask you which plane you like to keep so i'll keep top plane x y plane okay now here sketch tools are available just drop down and we will use one tool center to center slot okay now the smart dimension dimension this point to this point now this length we will keep 130 millimeter press enter click this radius now here we want to mix this radius 40 millimeter once you zoom in now see let me choose line connect from here to this point right click ok or say escape command exit right click on the line choose construction now this line we don't need it this is fully constrained right click finish 2d sketch select extrude now here i'll choose isometric view okay this is the perfect view we like to keep now this distance in extent we want to keep distance and that is 100 millimeter we will keep in one direction either down but upward is better option here output we will get in solid okay now let's see other options now in second operation we will do three cutouts in simultaneously here 20 radius 24 and it is in center position dimension not shown but we will consider this location is center of this box then here one more cutout see 20 millimeter depth and uh, width it 38 millimeter and distance from one end is 24 one end is 24 okay and 80 millimeter this distance so we will make cut out from here to this end and this thickness remember 20 millimeter okay so i'll select this face choose here create a sketch we will start with rectangle two point rectangle and uh, I'll make sure connect from here to outer line now I'll connect one more rectangle from here to now vertical length 20 millimeter press tab key 38 millimeter enter okay and I'll define this dimension from outer edge 
24 millimeter enter okay this one is defined fine and uh, dimensions from this outer line 80 millimeter okay now this distance from bottom surface 20 millimeter okay let me choose here line and i'll draw one line go back to the point and hold shift right click just hold it and drag and you will see it will convert into arc line then leave come here and close right click okay let's create this 24 millimeter radius Twenty millimeter. This one. Now, center distance. Forty millimeter. Okay. Now we need to choose vertical length, and I'll select this one. Okay. Uh, let's define by dimensions 0 now this is fully constrained drawing you will see here finish sketch extrude now here we need to cut so I will select here cut option ok now let me choose profile 1 2 3 see these three profiles we need to choose direction is going perfect and distance either you can keep all this simply select all and it will cut up to the end here let's say ok or here say ok now see now here the next operation we will do this cut out 48 millimeter down from here and uh, 40 millimeter center distance then here one circle and that is 40 millimeter okay and then one rib rib is from here this cut out to 25 millimeter here thickness 10 millimeter so these three operations we are going to take select this surface create a sketch circle and you will just move your cursor forty millimeter enter. Now this is not fully constrained, so I'll choose one relation constraint, cocentric constraint, select circle and this outer circle. Now see it is fully constrained. Finish sketch extrude and this time select here cut and distance either you can choose all two or two next if you choose next it will cut up to bottom face now see select this face sketch two point rectangle now if you drag you will see 40 millimeter press tab 45 enter dimension this is 80 millimeter long so one side dimension if you want to keep center 20 millimeter okay Now this is still not uh, on the proper position. Let's put dimension. Now this is fully constrained. Finish. Extrude. The same operation things we are going to choose here. Select cut. First choose profile see it's going to cut up to the end 
direction is perfectly according to drawing then distance whatever distance or let me choose all if you choose all it will cut up to the end of the body if you uncheck this you can't see the preview so make sure you check this one output solid solid body okay now let's make a rib so for rib we need we will choose x y z plan a sketch i'll choose here line just hold shift key rotate little and you will find somewhere green point okay if you saw right plane a smart dimension and directly choose this line and simply select vertical length horizontal 25 mm now let me choose this coincident select this point and this now see it is coincide here right click okay now this is fully constrained now let me finish the sketch now you will see here go to 3d model choose rib first now here two options normal to sketch plane parallel to sketch plane we are going to make parallel to sketch plane this should be parallel not normal to plane okay and here two next not uh, finite extend profile see and profile let me choose this is the profile Ten millimeter thickness. Now you will see this is going reverse direction. So select. Now see it's moving inside. Now it is visible clearly. You will see the preview. Sometimes system hangs. That's why. Okay. So this is the simple. project exercise we did in autodesk inventor i hope you like it if you want to allow some color or something like uh, you can directly choose appearance and here you will find too many tools orange that's it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks autodesk inventor and fusion thanks for watching